Hey, Shalom and welcome to the Karma Kapash from GMS London, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Chachwadash. Want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out there to the hopeful that's pushing the truth in all sincerity. Uh, back again with another video. And um, I just wanted to go on the topic of, um, you know, these nations, they don't they don't want us to be who we are. They don't want us to be uh, you know, the children of the scriptures, the children of Israel, right? And they've done everything to kind of suppress that information right they're quite happy for us to be at the bottom because that means everybody else has a higher position in this kingdom right because if the children of israel were, were back in power then all these nations would be trodden underfoot right as, as the scriptures say you know these uh these are the enemies of the lord which are going to be made the, the lord's footstool <laughs> when he returns right and so judgment, judgment, judgment awaits these nations, you know. And it's really, you know, these elites of these nations, okay, that know who we are, right, and have played their roles in our downfall, in our oppression, right. And none of them want to do us any good. Hence, these nations are all our enemies. All these nations are our enemies, right. And the Lord is going to judge all of them, right. None of none of them are going to be exempt from judgment. Right, we get an Esau a lot because he's gonna get the, the 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 main slice of it, right? Because of his part in it, because he's the main character, he's the main player, the main the main wicked one on this planet, right? That came up against us and put us in cargo slave ships and shipped us around the world and had us in in you know beneath all these nations. He's the one that did that, right? So he's got the main slice of judgment, you know, from the heavenly Father, man. But you other nation, man, you you also included in this judgment. That's why there is, there is no <laughs> there is no salvation for the other nations, man, because the other nations are the enemies of Israel. Right, you've you guys have done not a damn thing about our conditions and about our, our oppression. When when you know the translated slave trade went on, you just everyone just sat back and watched it happen, man. You know, because there was no human rights back then. Remember, <laughs> there was no human rights. No one give a fuck, right? As long as you know, <laughs> no one cared, right? So no one cared about us, man. And 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 it's, it was prophesied to be that way that none of these nations would help us. Right? No one, none of these nations would look to us to, to, to feel bad for us, to try and help us, right? That is all prophecy. Now you've got, you know, this, this phony group, you know, in the land of Israel today, man, and they got restored, you know, supposedly put back in the land. You know, they were helped by the whole fucking, you know, European community, right, to be put into a land that did not belong to them, right? They were, they were being helped so much. They're being helped even now, right, with weapons and money and, you know, blowing up children and shit. They, they're getting all kinds of help. Right, but that's not prophetic. These nations are not meant to care about the children of Israel. They're meant to want them underfoot, underneath their feet. Right, they're not meant to be getting all this fucking help. Right, so a lot of things don't line up, you know, when it concerns them. You know, with these with these uh, these small hats in the land of Israel today, right? Things don't line up with them because they're not the true people of of the Lord. They're not the true Israelites, right? The the true Israelites are despised in this world, man. And none of them, none of these nations, uh. uh should be looking to to help them, okay? Which in our case they ain't. Okay, we're the ones that are neglected and and you know despised upon the earth. All right, at the bottom of every social society, these these small hats, man, they're elevated, man. They're in high positions in the planet, in power, in this world. All right, so none of that makes any sense. All right, but let's get into the into the, the, the lesson anyway, right? I'm gonna start here in Isaiah 42 and verse 22. All right, it said, "But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Are we not?" Are you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans? Are we not people robbed and spoiled? Okay, is not Esau, the so-called white man, the thief that robbed us? And these other nations. Have we not been robbed and spoiled? Even, even Jake in the, you know, in let's say Africa, in at the, you know, the continent of Africa, Esau comes in and just takes, even though they're supposed to be, you know, they're ruling their own country, supposedly, right? They're still being poached upon, man. They're still a prey to Esau. Coming in, in into these different countries and taking their resources and, and striking dodgy deals with them to make them uh, um, uh, com compliant, you know, to bring in their, their their bullshit agendas in there. I see Nigeria was it no was it Ghana it might be Ghana today, you know saw a video this morning, um, someone from Ghana some you know whether we president or whatever, you know rejecting um, United you know America and their and their bullshit philosophy with the LGBT uh, thing you know. But a lot of these people, they've given in, they caved into that pressure because they got, you know, they want the money, they want the loans and they want the deals because, you know, the government's corrupt and all this kind of shit, right? They're not, you know, they're not there 
of their own good free you know goodwill to come and help you people. No, it's all underhanded. Right? It's to take advantage of you. Because he's he's the thief. Right? He's saw that ain't nothing but a, a fucking big ass con man in the earth, man. Okay, a violent con man, right? But anyway, so but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all they are all of them snared in holes. They're trapped. Right? We, we we're trapped. And the scripture speaks about um uh what's it the, the borrower being servant to the lender. Right, everybody's in fucking debt. He's supposed to put everybody in debt. Okay, you're born into debt. Okay, you know, you, you put, <laughs> as soon as you put your name on a birth ticket, man, you become a fucking product, man. You become, you know, uh, a, a bearer of that debt. Right? He's still got everybody, uh, especially UJ, right? Um, dependent on, on his system. You're stuck in a in a sn in a hole, in a snare. Right? And he he, he plans to, to go even further, further with that, with the MOTB. Right to put you in in complete dependency. There ain't gonna be no little side hustles that you be doing. Right, you're gonna be completely dependent on Esau's ability to provide for you. Right, everything. Right, and this is why this 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 uh, MOTB this you know implantable RFID is is the ultimate snare uh, uh, that, that he plans to use against you, man. Because he's a cunning hunter. Esau's a cunning hunter. Right, that's what he plans to use against the people to have complete control over you. All right, so they are hidden prisons, prison houses. They are for a prey. Our people are nothing but a prey to to Esau and these other nations, right? To to extort, to you know, take advantage advantage of. Right, they are for a prey and none delivereth, none delivereth. No one's no one's here to help us. No one's here to save us, man. From from our plight, no one feels bad or sorry enough for us to do anything about it. Oh, yeah, but we give you government checks and, and benefits and what, what the fuck is that doing? It's just keeping us dependent. It's not making us independent. You know? But at the same time, you're using other tactics to destroy our neighborhoods, man. This shit ain't fucking helping. You ain't helping. No one's helping. Right? It says none delivereth. But again, that's all prophecy, man, which we're going to get in Deuteronomy 2868. Because it says the same thing. Right? None delivereth for a spoil. And none safe restore. Nobody wants to see us restored back to our, 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 our place in the world, our glory. No one wants to restore us to the land. Right? But but apparently, you know, apparently you do. Apparently, you know, because you help these 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 small hats to be to be you know supposedly restored, but that's it. That's a that's a whole that's a whole lie. Cause they ain't the people. If they were if they were really the people, no one would want to help them. No one would want to restore them. Because that's what it says here. Right? But the fact of the matter is we're the people and nobody wants to restore us. Nobody wants us, no, no one wants us to be elevated back into a, a, a rightful position. No one's trying to help with that. No one's trying to make us sovereigns of our own land. You know? And no one's trying to do nothing. Like that, no one's saying sorry. You know? And I don't mean just the words you're just saying sorry. That's, that's fucking bullshit, man. Okay, actions, man. <laughs> What's the actions? Ain't no one trying to do shit. Ain't no one's making up for nothing. All those years you had us in slavery, ain't no one really trying to make up for that. Esau ain't, 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 ain't the fucking good guy that he tries to make himself out to be because if he really cared, he'll do something about it, man. And he wouldn't care how much it cost or what it took. But he does care. He doesn't want to inflict damage upon himself, <laughs> even though he's inflict great damage upon our people. So he's never going to turn turn his heart and, and be like, you know what? What we did was like, Extremely bad. You know what? What we're gonna do? We're just gonna turn ourselves in. <laughs> we're gonna let justice serve. And we're gonna turn ourselves in underneath you. They ain't gonna do that. They're not gonna put us themselves underneath us. They're not gonna ever do that. That's ludicrous. Right? Who would do that? All right. So you, you so wiper, you complain about it all day long, man. But hey, this is the future. This is what's gonna come happen to you, man. Because the Mosai is gonna make you bow down to us, man. The Mosai is gonna put you underneath us. He's going to make you do what you won't do. Right? Because it's the most high. Why you have a shine that's going to restore us, man, back into our rightful position above the nations, pursuing the Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. The most high and Yahweh Shai is going to do that. Right? So that's who we're waiting for. We're not waiting for you, man. We're not waiting for some, some nation to, to, to feel sorry for us, man. Fuck you, nations, man. You're going into slavery. Right? 
right? So none safe restore, right? So that was that was that point I wanted to hold on, you know, hold on to, right? Probably the title of the lesson, none safe restore, right? But uh, before I get to Deuteronomy, I'm gonna grab Psalms 83 here, verse two. It says, "For lo, thine enemies make a tumult." Okay, the, the enemies are these nations. Begin with Esau, and it goes down the list of nations, right? But I ain't gonna read all the nations. You can read it for yourself. But is the point? For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head, or have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, "Come, let us cut them off from being a nation." That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, right? And that's why we don't know who the fuck we are, man. Right? Even even to the point where you know we've been in multiple captivities prior, you know, under the Assyrians, under the Babylonians, under the Persians, under, under the Greek, you know, well, and the Greeks, under the Romans, we've been in different different uh, captivities and and all that kind of stuff, right? Occupations or whatever. But we still always retain the knowledge of who we were, those that were still around. You also had the Israelite Gentiles that went into, you know, into, into different Greek lands and whatever and, and kind of, uh, uh, you know, rid themselves of, of their Israelite heritage and nationality or, or identity, right? They, they kind of just dropped that, right? And so they forgot who they were, but there were still Israelites that knew who, who they were, right? In, in the land and, and whatever, right? We still knew, right? But come fast forward to the translated slave trade, right? It was, it was, well, we didn't even know what the fuck, we didn't know what up from down, man, after Esau was finished with us, man. Right? Because even when he took us from the, from the West Coast, the West Coast of Africa, you know, we still had some type of identity, some type of understanding or knowledge that we were Israelites. Right? We had, you know, different names of, you know, different forts in the West Coast, you know, Fort uh, Benjamin and, and Judah and so on, right? Because they were the, you know, main tribes that were there and, and Levi and that, right? But after Esau was done, we, we couldn't even keep our own names. They like, changed our name of the fucking roots. Oh, your name is Toby now. And not Kunta Kente, it's Toby. Right? They changed everything about us, man. We just forgot everything about us. We, they beat the shit out of us, man. Okay, lost, made us lose it all. Right? And that's why the Negro today is so confused. Don't know, he doesn't know what, what the fuck he is. He's just all these things that Esau, have, you know, labeled us. That's, that's what we are. And there's no consensus. There's no consensus between the people what we are. Oh, we're African. No, I'm African American. No, I'm black. I'm, there's so much different things. I'm Nubian. You know, all these, all these different things. Right? Oh, I'm committed. It's it's fucking ridiculous. We're so confused as a people, man. Because beginning with Esau, right, have destroyed our people, and these nations, these other nations around about us, they've been, they've been down with it, man. Because none of them stepped in to do nothing about it. You know, or oh, they're just black people. Fuck them. No, that's just the Israelites. Fuck them. Because they knew. They knew who we were. These elites. Of these different nations. They knew who we were, man. Because but they've made a tumult against it. They've been in uh, their confederate against us. All right? This is... um. Wait, what was I? Verse 3. So they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut, off, cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are in agreement. They are confederate against thee. Right? These nations are against us. That's, that's why you're all getting it, man. None of you nations are going to get off, off the hook. You know? You ain't getting off, man. You're all getting punished, man. Okay, Esau is just going to get the, 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 you know, the bulk of it. All right? But you've all played your part in our oppression, man. All right, and this is Deuteronomy 28, verse 68 here. It tells you, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, in history, there's only one time this has ever been really recorded, right? And it, since it's a prominent thing in the in history of the world, you you it has to be a prominent thing in, in prophecies also concerning that people, right? So, I mean, everyone knows about the translated slash safe trade, about the yokes of iron. Right, you, you see, you type it into Google, man. The first thing that's going to come up is um, you know, your Negroes in slavery with, with the chains. Right, so much has been known about, it. so much stories and 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 movies, and it's it's a big thing on this on this planet, and it remains a big thing to this day. Because it hasn't been forgotten, because the Most High is not allowing it to be forgotten, man. Regardless of what you either might want, trying to take it out of textbooks, trying to trying to you know talk about it, you know, trying to trying to. Uh, um, uh, what's that word, man? 
you know, you you you, you, you know, give us token to, token gestures to try and you know, uh, also pacify us, you know, to not make us feel so 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 angry about it or or, or whatever, man. Even though you do all these things, the most is not be, you know not letting it be forgotten, man, within these people. All right. So Egypt, you know, here represents Bonji in, you know, watching the brother's video earlier today. And he, and he told you what he said. You know, you don't need to go to Egypt with ships. You know, we've made that journey on foot before. <laughs> a long ass walk, but, you know, obviously, but you don't need a ship to get there. Right? Egypt just simply represents bondage. Right? Because that, that's where we served hardcore bondage. You know? And so that happened when we were taken from 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 the west coast of Africa into America, and you know, to the, the, the islands and then Britain and so on and so forth. Right, that's when it happened. Right, and it says here, uh, by the way, of our spake unto thou shalt see it no more again, which is talking about our home, which is the land of Israel, and they should be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, which we was, and no man shall buy you. Right, and the word buy here means to, uh, to save. Redeem. Okay. And I said, no man shall restore. No man shall buy you. No, no man shall be sent to, to deliver you. None of these nations are going to rise up and 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 get you out of your situation. You know, you might try to uh, credit uh Mr. Abraham Lincoln with your you know with your salvation, with your you know, with the emancipation and that. But all that really changed was was the ownership. That's what emancipation means. So transfer of transference of ownership. You'll be still owned. Okay, you're just owned by the state. You know, you're not owned by uh, your, your employees now. So your employer, you're not owned by your employer no more. Because we still fucking work for this devil. We still build his kingdom up. We still build his riches. We don't really get to build our own. You know, we don't get to own anything. We get to consume, but we don't get to own. It's very difficult, right? And the tax system just fucks you up, just fucks you over all the time and time again. You can't really earn to own anything. Because he's already, already got that every damn near everything, man. You've got the land you build your house and you got, you know, you got the companies that build you. You got everything, man. You got the cars you buy. He owns all that shit. Clothes you wear, he owns the industries for that. He already owns everything, man. So we're still slaves and still bondmen in, in this in a system. Still bondmen in the system, man. Right? And saying so no one ain't trying to, you know, take us out of that and elevate us above that. It's to keep us low and oppressed. Alright. So yeah, like I said, none safe restore. Ain't nobody ain't nobody doing nothing about that. Okay, that's why we wait upon the Lord. It's Jeremiah 15, verse 5. So who shall have pity upon the old Jerusalem? Who who's gonna care? Who cares? Who cares about Jerusalem? Nobody care about Jerusalem. These 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 assholes, these asshole politicians act like they care. You know, Biden, you know, he's a you know, he's for the black people, you know, he's he's for the you know, the the you know the the, the Mexicans and all the you know, if you ain't black, you know, if you, <laughs> if you don't vote vote Biden, you ain't black and all this shit, they act like they fucking care. Even even people that you know, even Obama, right, acted like he cared, gave everyone everyone a phone. <laughs> right? Everybody a phone, Obama phone, right? Even he don't care, even he didn't care. And he's supposed to be, right? We're supposed to supposed to be one of our own. But they don't care. Ain't nobody on this fucking planet cares. You know? This is really the men of the Lord. And even even that, it's like, well, you niggas are so fucking far gone. It's like you need to be destroyed, man. But truly, the only people that really care about our own people, truly, are the men of the Lord. Because even these, these these other dudes that believe that you know they're they're for black people and they care about the people and all this kind of stuff, man, they're all leading them astray. You know, they're all leading them astray. They don't have the answers, man. And so you know, they might have a sincere heart, they might care, but at the end of the day, they, they ain't doing right by our people, man. And so they're doing nothing but destroying them. You know, so you could say they care, but really, the, what they do is is acts of hate in a way, even if they're unaware of it. You know, but we have the truth. We know what it what it takes to for our people to be saved and to be delivered from this this hell that we live. Okay, we know what that is. We know what that takes. It's all here contained in the scriptures, man. But people just have to show patience, have to show faith, 
and believe in the Mosai and his word, man. Believe upon Yahweh Shai. Okay, that's what we need to be doing. You know, and I know it seems out there, like, out there to the people, you know, that our people out there, that what we do is insignificant. It doesn't do anything. But things in this earth is changing. And it's changing in, in the ways that we speak concerning this word. Right? So you might not see necessarily, you know, the, the outcome of all of that yet. But we already see it. We, we already know it. We know where this all goes. Right? And we're waiting for, for it to all come to a head. Right? So we can be delivered. Okay? We just have to, you know, uh, keep our faith until that moment, man. And we can be saved. Right? Because ain't nobody else going to be able to do it. Ain't no, no Negro from our people who are going to rise up and deliver the people from, from our plight. It ain't happening. We've had many leaders, many supposedly great men, great leaders of our, you know, of, of, of times past, right? That are supposed to, you know, lead us places and make things better for us, man. But shit's still the fucking same. It's all bullshit, man. And they're still revered as great men, even though they didn't really fucking accomplish shit. You know, the MLKs, uh, you, know, all, you know, the Malcolm X's and whatever. They're still looked at as great men, but we're still in the fucking same shitty conditions that we're in. Now, you might say things have changed a little bit. Yeah, maybe so, but we're still in a shitty condition, man. Ain't nobody come, there's nobody that's been raised up to help us or save us, man. Because it's not possible. Because it's not part of prophecy. Okay, we have to wait upon Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? That's who it's, that's who it's going to be. That's what it takes. Right? But anyway, back here. You know, I'm ranting a little bit, but, you know, Lord willing, this is all edifying, Lord willing, right? Jeremiah 15, verse 5, For who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall be moan thee? Who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? Like, who cares how we're doing? Who cares if we got a fucking bunch of zombies living on Skid Row? You care, who cares? The fucking government don't fucking care. They ain't doing shit about them. You know, they kick them out of their fucking houses and now they're just strung up on, 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 on the drugs. <laughs> You know, trying to trying to escape escape the reality because um, it, it looks scary to us, man. But they're in the you know euphoria wherever they are in their fucking zombie like state. They're in a euphoria wherever they fuck they are. But here uh, we look at it from the outside, man. That's shit scary, man. Fucking town full of fucking zombies, man. It's fucking scary, man. You know, but well, that's a condition of our people, man. And, and say no one ain't stepping in to do shit about that. You know, it says, um, okay, that's what I want from that. So, this is Baruch chapter 4, verse 21. <sighs> Pardon me, right? It says, uh, be of good cheer, O my children, okay, the children of Israel, right? Cry unto the Lord, and he will deliver you from the power of the hand of the enemies, right? Because we're still in the hand of our enemies. We've been. We've been put into slavery. We've been put in all these different nations. And we're at the bottom. We serve these nations. We serve their economies. Okay. And, you know, we're just down bad in these places. Right. You know, we're not well to do. Okay. Um, for my hope is in the everlasting, the Most High, that he will save you. Right. He is the author of our salvation. This is why he sent his son. Yeah, I was shy. Okay. And joy has come unto me from the Holy One because of the mercy which he which shall sh which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Savior. Salvation was always in the cards for the children of Israel, man. Okay, that was the whole MO, that's the whole idea. Right? The Lord was gonna put us in the hand of our enemies, but the Lord was gonna save us from our enemies, man. And this is gonna be the last time he has to do that. Right? This this had already been decided. This is how it was gonna play out. Right? So, which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting our Saviour. And we're in that time now. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, because when we were taken from our land into these different captivities, okay, it's like the land mourned and weeped for us, man, because we were taken away. And I said, we've been taken away. We've not gone back home. I know you still got Israelites that are there in the land of Israel today, just, you know, a few here and there. You know, even amongst the small hats, you're going to find actual Israelites among them. But as, as a people, we are not there as a people. We're not there as a kingdom. We're not there as nothing, man. Okay, we're like, like strangers in that land because it's really controlled by the Edomites right now. Right? It's not being run by us. So this land doesn't have us back yet. Okay? So, if my, says, so for I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but God will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. 
Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, the neighbors of Zion, all the nations round about us. The whole world saw what happened to our people, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. Everyone, everyone's seen what the so-called white man has done to our people. And yet no one is doing or saying shit about it. Because what can they do? How can they make America pay? How can they make Britain pay in their parts in slavery? How can they do? What can they do? Even if they wanted to, what could they do? They ain't got the power to, man. Because Esau will fuck them up. Okay, Esau has the great sword, man. Okay, the red horse, he gonna fuck you up, man. And so these nations stay quiet. These other nations, they stay quiet, man. They don't want to fuck with uh, America. You know? They'll just let that one slide. You know? This is, um... Yeah, like, as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see, so, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, right? And so the whole world watches go into captivity, and guess what? The whole world's going to watch us be delivered from the hand of our enemies. The whole world is going to watch the spectacle the Most High is going to unfold out here with the miracles, the chariots, the destruction, the judgments, right? I say us getting beans, the chariots, the whole world is going to see that. Everyone is going to know who we are. <laughs> Boy, I sound like that. <laughs> not, not, not that I want to make the comparison, <laughs> but... You know, that, that dude, that immigrant dude, I think supposedly he was uh, some sort of, you know, someone, you, you know, these governments watch, right? But he said, uh, he was asked who, who he was and he said, soon you will know who I am. I think that's what he said, right? Well, this is what it's going to be like. Soon you will know who we are. Okay, we are the Israelites that are spoken of in the, in the scriptures. When you see our salvation, you're going to know who we are. Without a doubt. Right, there's going to be no confusion in the world anymore. There's not going to be none of these, you know, people sitting there thinking and wondering if if what we're saying is true or not. Right, when we come back down, when we when we get beamed up, but when we come back down, right, with with, the, with the Howard Shai and the angels, you you are going to know who we are. Okay, we are the children of Israel, man, the sons of the Most High. Okay, rightful rulers over the earth. Right, there's going to be no mistake in it. And you're going to see it's a bunch of Negroes, man. Okay, the people you look down upon the most. Right, and it's not going to make sense to you. Right, because it's not what you thought. These scriptures are not what you think they are. Right, that's why it's going to blow your damn minds, man. Your little fucking peon minds is going to fucking blow them to, to, to pieces, man. You know? It says, so shall they uh, see shortly your salvation from our power. Which shall come upon you with great glory, great glory. Because Yahweh Shai, when he comes back, he's coming with great glory. We're all gonna be made like unto him, and we're gonna be changed. We're gonna be glorified, not not in this, this destitute state that we're in now, in this in these, in these vile bodies of flesh, man. In these in these down and out, you know, conditions, man. No, we're gonna be glorified in that day. And so that's it. There's gonna be no mistake in it. All right? So it's come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you from the Most High, right? Because all this is that we're going through, our people, is, is the judgment against us before transgressing the law, statutes, and commandments. That's why we're in the hand of our enemies, man. That's why Esau it has the upper hand over us, and all the other nations have the upper hand over us. That's why they're exalted above us in this world, because of our transgression. And this is something our people don't understand. Our people are not thinking about these things and why they're in the predicament that they're in. Because if you knew what the problem was, you, you know it also had to solve it, man. Because it's through the same way, through the scriptures, through the words of the Heavenly Father. Because we have, a, we, we know what to do. We just need to do it. And albeit doing it is not the easiest thing. But but the but the but the um the answer is there. The answer is in these scriptures. Right. So the only way out is to obey the Heavenly Father, right? Because the reason why we went into captivity and into into all these problems is because we transgressed against the Lord. You know. It says, um, my, my children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God, for thine enemy have persecuted thee. But shortly, right, thou shalt see his destruction. And this is what we speak. These are the things that we speak. Right? And there's not nothing that's not in here in the scriptures, man. We're waiting for the destruction of our enemies. About God is all love. No, the, the Lord has enemies, man. And we hate the enemy. The Lord hates those that come against his children, right? They're, they're our enemies. And we seek their destruction. The Most High is going to bring destruction upon them. The whole reason why there's going to be a world war free is so these nations can suffer, man. 
Okay, so they can be destroyed, right? For the large for a large portion of their army is going to be destroyed, right? But there's still more to happen after that, right? Those that are left, the people, right? The, the people of these nations go into slavery. This is what we're shortly going to see. The destruction of our enemies, man. The deliverance of our people. Right? It's a suffer patiently to wait patiently, man, to wait in suffering. Right? We so we so long for this, man. But there's nothing we can do. We have to just sit there and play our roles in it, which is just to teach this word, man. And wait for the most high to do his thing. That's what we're out here, you know, doing. That's what we're here commanded to, to do. You know? It says, um, for thy enemy have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Right? This is not love. This is not preaching love. And I'm sorry, well, not sorry. But this is not what the scripture, the scripture is not all about love, man. The scripture is about loving thy neighbor. Okay, your fellow Israelite in the truth. Those that do the will of the Heavenly Father, right? As, as how I said, this is my brother, my mother, my sister, right? That's who the love extends to. Those that do the will of the Heavenly Father. Man, if you ain't doing the will of the Heavenly Father and you and you set up as, a, as an enemy, bro, there's nothing but death and destruction for you, man. Slavery. Because these, the, these are the things that the Most High have appointed these people that are against him. That are against his children. That do wickedness. Right? There's no love for these people. That's why they're going to be destroyed. This is what we're reading here. All right? We're going to tread upon their necks. All right? This is my delicate ones. Have gone rough ways talking about us. So and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good comfort on my children and cry unto the God, unto the Most High Yahweh. For ye have remembered, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. So the Lord hasn't forgot about his people. He knows exactly the condition that we're in, and he because he's purposely put us there. Right? To suffer, to pay. Right? But we're not gonna be forgotten, we're not gonna be left in the hand of our enemies. Okay, because what did the Lord do? He, he sent his son as a deliverer for the children of Israel. Luke 1 and 68. <laughs> this is what it's all about, man. Right? He hasn't forgotten us. This is uh, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so be in return, seek him ten times more. For he that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Okay, so who's going to bring the salvation? Who's going to deliver us? Who's going to restore us? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, no man is going to do that. Okay? Take a good heart of Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. All right? And this is his next point, right? Verse 31. Miserable are, are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. All right? Miserable are they. Sorrows. Wailing and gnashing of teeth. Right? Verse 32, miserable are the cities which thy children served. All right, so like I said, we, we were taken into captivity, taken into slavery, and made to serve in these different nations, in these different cities, building it up, increasing their economy, because they, they got free labor off us, right? And we got shit all for it. Right? Verse 33, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved, because, hey, they used to, they used to make events out of us, man. Every time, you know, Jake was getting lynched or something, man, they'd have, they'd have uh, postcards and all kinds of things, man. It was like a fucking stadium event. You know, like you went to watch the Super Bowl or some shit. You know, people used to gather around. It's like a show. And watching Jake get tortured. You know, with, you know, these, 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 you know, these Edomites, these devils with a smile on their face. Children were there. Everyone were there. Everyone was there. Grandma, granddad. You know, everybody was there. Like it was a great thing. They had no mercy, man. They had no pity upon us at all. And the world sees this. Everyone, everyone sees these things. No one don't gives a fucking shit. Oh, that was bad, wasn't it? And that, that's as far as it goes. No one gives a shit over what happened to our people and how bad it, how, you know, how much of a fucking psychological effect it fucking had on us. A fucking, uh, who is that, man? Um, what was that dude's name? Shit, I can't remember. I can't remember. I forgot that. Oh, if it comes back to me, man. But obviously there was a dude that had this letter that, you know, supposedly it's fake, but, you know, so they, so they you know, like to report it or it doesn't really exist or some shit, right? But obviously it was enacted. Obviously it was done. You know, this guy came, come up away, had to, had to um, 
deal with Negroes on the plantation, man. I had to, I had to like, you know, break them. I can't remember the fucking dude's name, man. You know, but you've seen, you, you've seen it, you've seen it in the movies, the way that they, they broke us down, man. You know, and how psychological just fucked our people up, man. You know? And now, we, you know, now we've got fucking Stockholm Syndrome. Now we just love the so-called white man for some fucking strange reason. After everything he's done, apparently we, we, we love him and we love the world he's created for us to fucking bullshit in. And I, I, don't, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But we was all in that, in that state at once, at one, at one time or another and, and the Stockholm Syndrome, not really caring like what's been done and, and you know, just getting on with life. But, that, but that's not, the, the most high isn't on fucking Stockholm Syndrome, bro. <laughs> he ain't on that shit, right? He ain't forgot. And he ain't, he ain't love these devils, man. He gonna fuck them up. Right, but the most I have awoken us up to that same spirit, that same mentality, man. The fuck this devil. He needs to pay. He ain't getting away with that. He needs to pay. Right? That's why it says, Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are, thy, are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. And that's what we're waiting for. Waiting for the desolation of these nations, America primarily, because America is being set for. That great judgment, right? Because that's where the, the, the that's where the the, the 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 main part of our captivity was served, as a, as a nation. You got all twelve tribes there, right? And they've been heavily oppressed in those lands in, in the Americas, man. You know, so that's got a, that place has got a special judgment. That's, that that place is Babylon the Great in the scriptures, right? But all these nations are going to get fucked up, man, because they've all had, had their part in it. They've all been in confederate against us, man. They've all allowed it to happen and did nothing about it. There's no, there's, there's no fucking champion out there for the Negroes, man. You Negroes, Spats, and Native Americans. There's no fucking champion out there. Champion our cause. Well, you think it's Esau? <laughs> what, what, what a cruel twist of fate <laughs> that we rely on, rely on a captor to set us free. <laughs> man, that shit ain't fucking real, man. Ain't fucking real. Don't mean shit. All right. Anyway. So the verse 44. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude. Right. And her pride shall be turned into mourning. Right. America is Edomites. Right. They've, they've grown so big and so powerful. Right. And they rejoice in, in the position that they hold in the world. Right. But all that, all that pride, like I said, is all going to be turned into, into mourning. Right. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure. Right, the Most High has been waiting patiently for this day too. It's not just us, you know. But Most High has set everything in His own time, so He's He's got things. He you know things that He said have to play out in in the in the time and order that He said it. Right, it has to be fulfilled. He can't say, "Well, you know, I said that, but uh, it's getting a bit long now. I might just you know shorten it up a bit." The Lord isn't gonna ain't gonna do that, right? The Lord isn't gonna go against His own word. Right, so even he has to wait patiently and, and suffer his own word until this time comes about where you know this, this devil gets destroyed. You know, this is um, where is it? So I will take away the rejoicing of a great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure. And shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. Okay, these desert creatures that are going to be in the land of America after everything kind of settles down after the destruction, man. But ain't no, no man going to be there no more. Men are not going to dwell in the land of America anymore after the destruction. Right? So, O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High Yahweh. Lo, thy sons come from whom thou, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the Holy One, rejoicing in, in the glory of God. So, Gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of God. Right? Because the Most High is waking up his elect around the whole earth, from the east to the west. Okay? Encompassing all of the earth, right? The Lord's men are being woken up. Right? And this is the sign of his, of the, of the time, man, of, 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 this, of this, you know, this resurrection of, of sorts, right? Being, being, you know, coming back to who we are. You know? We've been revived. You know, just like the scripture speaks about uh, the value of the dry bones. Okay, we're being, you know, uh, you know, brought back together to get, you know, with the sinews and the, and the flesh, right? We're being given understanding 
right? So all these were, were, were signs of, you know, the resurrection of Israel, so to speak. All right, and now you've got the men of the Lord, the prophets out there, teaching out there on the highways and byways, waking, you know, playing their part in waking the elect up. Okay, and once that, the elect is sealed, that's when the judgment can happen. That's all we're waiting for. Okay, we're not, we're not, we don't need to captivate the whole world and convince the whole world what we're saying is true. We don't need that. We don't care about that. Okay, that's not the that's not the goal. Okay, the goal is simply for the elect to wake up. And once that's been achieved, then the most I can can get on with the next phase. Okay, these angels can be can be let loose and bring judgment and destruction upon the world. All right. And say so they don't want us to teach this truth, man, because it's a big problem to them. Right, because now they've seen this. They've seen this happen. Okay, Israel getting you know waking up. Right, and so they also know what time it is, or that it's getting closer to the end. And this is why these devils are rushing. All right, but I want to get this from Acts five verse twenty seven. Right, it says, and when they had brought them, they had said they set them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, "Did we did not we straightly command you that you should not teach in this name?" Right, they don't want us to, to spread the gospel, the true gospel. They don't want us to spread the names of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai around, man. Because, like I said, it's a problem for their kingdom. Because it's because it's the truth that you know single handedly unraveling all the bullshit with the lies that Esau sort of, uh, have told upon the earth, man, uh, and revealing how much of a devil he is. All right, and that his time his time is nigh. All right, so and behold, ye have filled Jerusalem. With your doctrine. And that's what we're doing now. We're filling the whole world with this doctrine. And like I said, Esau is, is, is finding a problem. It's a problem for him. And this is why, you know, he's back, you know, you know what he's been doing, you know, blocking blocking the videos and taking down channels and you now he's putting legislations in place. You know, you can't preach out loud and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, it's going on in Canada recently. You know, they're going to block pre preachers of hate and anything, basically, hate is anything that, that they don't agree with. Anything that, that goes against their kingdom and their values, right? That's hate. So these scriptures contain a lot of these things. This is like I said, this is not this is not a, this is not a Bible full of love, right? It hates things, and so it speaks against things. Even the scripture speaks about the prophets of old uh, set to prophesy against, against nations, against kingdoms, right? Against when you when you're against, it's not nothing nice because you because you're being critical of it. You're being critical. Like, we're critical of this place, man. How wicked it is, man. All the wickedness and all the folly that goes on in this place. We're against it. So, of course, anything that's against is going to be perceived as hateful. So, so they're, trying to, they're trying to shut us out. You know, keep us from preaching this word. But you can't stop it. You can't, you can't stop, the, you can't stop the, the word, man. Okay, you might be able to stop individuals like us. Like, you know, lock us up and put us to death. You could do all those types of things. But you can't stop the word. And no matter, nothing Esau can do can stop that. And like I said, we don't need to get to the whole world. We just need the elect. And you know, the elect are pretty much sealed, man. They're here. They're here, ready to hear. You know, ready to hear this word. And once once they do and they accept it, that's, that's it. It's over for Esau. And Esau doesn't, that's me. Esau doesn't know who that's going to be. So he, it's, impossible to, 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 it's impossible to do for him to stop the word, to track that down. And it's impossible. All right, but they don't wish us to, to teach in these names. They don't wish us to teach this gospel. Okay, they want us off the streets. All right, saying, "Behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us." Right, and it's the same kind of thing because we're here teaching all the all the wickedness and all the evil we've done to the children of Israel. Okay, we we intend to bring destruction upon you, man. All all, the, all this wickedness to 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 bring it to judgment for it to see justice, man. Because this is what it's gonna it's gonna cost you, man. It's gonna cost you your lives. Because judgment, justice, has, justice has to be done. Because no justice has been done thus far. Because there's no man save restore. Okay, no man shall deliver you. So 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 shall save you. All right, you haven't done anything about it, man. You you've not balanced the scales. So the most high is gonna balance the scales. Okay, all the blood that you should have asked, man. Yours is gonna be shed. That's why the scripture speaks about uh, Revelation thirteen and ten. So that he that go into captivity shall uh, he that leadeth into captivity should go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword shall be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. 
right? This is, this is why we speak these things, because this is, the most high is, <laughs> this is what the Most High requires, man. That's the punishment. All right? Verse 29, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. So we haven't got, we don't care what you got to say about it, what you, if you agree with it or, or not, you know, or don't. Right? You can make the threats and, you know, all, all that you want, man. Okay, but we ought to obey God rather than men. We, we don't, we're not going to change what we say just because you don't like it. You know, because you don't want it to be true. We don't care about that. You care about the most high's word, man, what he said. Okay. We know that the God of our fathers raised up Yahawashai, whom ye slew and hang on a tree. Yeah. You're responsible for that, just like you're responsible for uh, for slavery. <laughs> you're responsible for all this bullshit that, that we uh, that Israelites go through. All right? You Edomites are responsible for shit, man. For wickedness, right? Uh him. Have you how exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel? And this is being spoken even in Acts. So these these are this uh, apostles and disciples, man. They weren't teaching salvation for the whole world. This is this is about salvation of, of Israel to, to forgive them of their sins, i.e., what's written in Luke 1 and 68. You know? This this is the man, this is the person, this is the one chosen to. Deliver Israel. Not none of you people on the, on on these nations, on, you know Esau or anybody. No, no man is going to save us from our plight. Okay, Yahweh was specifically specifically set up to do that. Right, the glory goes to him. Right? He's the only one capable of doing it, because that's what he's been set up to do. His name Yahweh means he deliverer. Right, he was set up for this very very purpose to deliver his his. He's, uh, he's people, man. And that's what's going to happen. It ain't going to happen from nowhere else. All right, so I'm read it again. He, him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. All right, so that's what we preach. That's how it's going to be done. That's how we're going to be delivered. It's not going to come from nowhere else. So don't, push, put no, so don't put no trust in nobody else. You know, because these nations ain't going to do shit, man. These people ain't going to do nothing. You will do nothing, <laughs> right? They ain't going to do shit. So we wait upon the Lord and do what the, do what the Lord commands us to do, man, and, and, and preach his word, man, regardless if the nations like it or not. You know? I'm going to close up with this. It's Isaiah 14 and 1. The Lord will have mercy on Jacob, okay, and will yet choose Israel because Jacob and Israel are synonymous. It's talking about the nation, his people, right, his children, and set them, them who plural, right. So it's not talking about the individual Jacob or the individual Israel because Jacob's name was changed to Israel, right. It's talking about his seed, his progeny, okay, the nations of Israel, the twelve tribes, right, and set them in their own land because the land was divided among the twelve tribes of Israel. The sons of Jacob, right? The sons of Israel, right? And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob, right? So what this means is we're going to be a one one whole nation again, right? Even the Israelite foreigners, we're going to be all as one, okay? And, and again, that's also prophecy, okay? We should become one stick in thy hand, right? The breach, you know, between, uh, was it Judah and Ephraim, they're going to be, it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, Sold up for lack of a better word, we brought back together, right? And this, that's something that's not happening in the land of Israel today. There's no twelve tribes in the land of Israel. Okay, these, these small hats they just they call themselves collectively JOOs, right? They don't they don't they don't differentiate really between themselves. They don't you know reckon you know uh, identify as different tribes really like that. They they don't even they don't they don't even have the same setup, man. They got a, they got a fucking government like a, you know democratic government. Okay, when they're meant to have a, a kingdom, okay, ruled by a king. They don't have none of that stuff there. All right? Just more indication to show that they're not really who they say they are, right? But anyway, yeah, so we were all, all, all one people again, one kingdom again, because we was divided into two kings at one point. Okay, that's not going to be the case in the, in, you know, in the latter days, right? In the kingdom. 
and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants, right? So the, the, the Israelites are going to have servants and we're going to possess them as in you're going to be a possession. We're going to own you just like you own us. <laughs> you know, we're going to own you. You're going to become property to the Israelites. This is what he's saying. But this is the, this is the word of the Lord, though. But this is this is right, 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 uh, righteous order, rightful order of things, because Israel was set above the nations. Okay, even the blessing of Jacob was for nations to bow down to him to serve him. So this is what's playing out. This is what's going to play out, man. All, after all the the wickedness has been done unto us, man. This is what's going to be done unto our enemies. Once he, once Yahweh Shai has, has delivered us, we're going to put the nations underneath us, man. And they're going to become our servants, our slaves, if you will. Same thing, servant, slave, whatever. It's the same same thing. Maybe one just sounds nicer than the other. But it's the same shit, though. Okay, we're going to punish you for a thousand years. It's not going to be nice. Right? So anyway. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives. Right? Slaves. Yeah? Whose captives they were. Because we were your slaves. You're the one that shipped us around the world and sold us to people. You, you other nations are happily, happily, you know, bought them and had us there and had had us serve you. Now it's going to be your turn to do that. You know, as the scriptures say, uh, you shall uh, reap what you sow. All, all, all you, all you nations are going to suffer the same thing you, you know, you you put upon us, man. And you can't say like, what? Well, why? Oh, that was such a long time ago. The Most High has got a long memory. <laughs> And the Mosai is not a respect to a person's, right? It doesn't matter how long ago it was. It doesn't matter who who is uh, who is here, who's not here, when it took place, right? Because the, the tree, truthfully, you're all back here, you know, serving your own crimes, you know, being punished for your own crimes. So, you know, that's an understanding that's going to go over your head because you don't understand reincarnation. But the Mosai, he's not. The Mosai's not stupid. The Mosai is not unjust, right? So. If you if you're here today, if you're here today and you're being punished for it, you just know that you deserved it, innit? You might not understand it now, but just know you deserved it. You might feel it's unjust right now, but you know, just know you deserved it, innit? Most of them may not make, make mistakes. Alright. Um so yeah, and, and and they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And what did Yahweh Shai tell us? Right? That 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 we had hold, hold fast, right? And she'll give us. Uh, uh, let me just grab it. Let's watch it. Again. And oh yeah, no, that's not that one. Right, Revelation two, and verse twenty five says, "But that which you have already hold fast till I come." Which is this truth that is what we have, right? And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, right? Because we have to endure unto the end to be able to, you know, receive this, this, the prize, right? To him will I give power over the nations, right? So we just read that in Isaiah there. We shall rule over our oppressors, right? How are we going to rule over them? At least for the first thousand years, anyhow, right? And he says, it, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, with severity, right? As the vessels of a potter shall be broken to shivers, even I, as I received of my father, right? Because Yahweh Shai is not coming to, come, come to treat you nice, even man. If you after what you've done to his brethren, what you what you did, to, you know, after what you did to him, he's going to treat you nice. You don't you don't know the Lord. You just think that Yahweh Shai is on this forgive and forget thing, man. When it just isn't the case, man. If even when he returns, you know, it's up here. Uh. No. When he returns, man, Revelation 1 and 7 says, Behold, he coming through clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and even all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. He's not he's not on some forgive and forget shit. He's on a fucking mission to destroy nations. Right? To destroy people. Men, women, children, all of that. He's coming on a mission, man, to do the will of his father. His father hates the fucking shit out of these Edomites, man. <laughs> right? And he doesn't, he's not, he doesn't feel too much better about the heathen. So when Yahweh comes with his army, man, he's coming to fuck people up. He's not coming to forget 
you know, to yeah, to forget and to love everybody. He's not coming to do that, right? He was given a rod of iron to rule over the nation. That's exactly what he is going to do, right? He is the principal son of the heavenly father. That's what he's coming to do. This is his kingdom. That's what he is going to do. He's going to rule with a rod of fucking iron, man. Okay, but that that rod of iron is going to be shared around. We're going to be giving each a rod of iron. We're going to smack the shit out of you heathen for a thousand years at least, right? For justice sake, for 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 ju for judgment sake, because that is what the Most High have judged upon the nations. Right, that's what's going to take place, because you had his children in fucking captivity, man, treating them like shit. Right, that is why the Most High is doing this. That's why how much Most High gave how much I wrote a fucking iron to smack you upside the head, man. Right, for what you've done to his children. Yeah, you know, Most High is not letting you get away with what you did to us. You want that to be so, but that is not what's going to happen. All right. So when the Yahweh comes, people are going to wail, man. People are going to be fucking lamenting, man. Scared shitless of what the Lord is about to do and what the, when the Lord and the angels are going to come and do when they come down out of their chariots, man. All right. We're reading it here. All right. So I'm going to read verse 2 here, Isaiah 14 again. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. All right, we're going to switch, switch roles with you, man. All right, you're going to, you're going to come, come down to the bottom here. <laughs> Start at the bottom, now we're here. Right, you're going to go down to the bottom, you fucking stay in there, man. <laughs> Coming out again. Yeah, there's, there's no Gog and, Gog and Magog <laughs> type scenario, you know, that's going to take place, man. You're going to stay down, right? I said, after a thousand years, man, you're going to be below us, but you could be better off, man, but... Don't don't you don't expect no mercy for the first thousand years, man, because you showed us none. All right, verse three says, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, because all that people are in mourning, man. That people are fucking having tough lives out here, man. Jake's having tough lives out here, man. Fucking nothing but sorrow and pain. Okay, hardship, stress, disease. It's just it's just you know that's how people are faced with all the damn time. Right? So it shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Who who served that hard bondage? We know the one case of Egypt. It says we, we served hard bondage. But when in the world did, did it happen again? Transatlantic slave trade. And it's very well known. The level you had us had, you know, put slavery upon us, man, was fucking immense. And everybody acknowledges that. Everyone looks at you and says, that's fucking bad, man. <laughs> All the stories, that was fucking bad, man. Everyone who, who looked, would look at it, you know, except for these fucking top demons, obviously, but in, in, the, in public, they'll say it's bad. But everyone that ever, ever saw anything to do with our slavery, man, would say that it's fucking awful. It's atrocious. And atrocity on the earth. But like I said, nothing's really done, been done about it. You know? The war that was fought... Over us in America, that had nothing to do with you know freeing Negroes because because for Negroes' sake, no, it's, it's, it's a it's a money thing, man. <laughs> it's a money thing, man. It's always a fucking money thing, you know. North and the South, yeah, that's what it was all about, man. You know, share the wealth. You know, that's all it was. <laughs> you you South for hugging hugging the, the 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 benefits, man. So they they fucking. Divvied it out for the whole fucking country, you know. Made made you proper this day, and now everyone gets the access to Negroes and and the cheap labor, <laughs> you know. But yeah, so that's what's gonna take place, man. Right? They're gonna serve hard bondage, right, for that thousand years, right? Because they say the only person that's able to restore us is Yahweh Shai. Okay, when he comes, okay, when he comes with the army of heaven, which is our army. That's, that's the issue. You, you talk about Negroes, Hispanics, and Americans. We don't have an army to fight. That's why we're we're, just, we're, at, we're a prey unto unto Esau because he got the weapons. He got the he got the military might. We ain't got shit. Okay, we're waiting for our army. Yeah, how should I come coming with our army to fuck your shit up? Okay, and our, our army is far superior to, to to Esau's. You know, that's what we're waiting for. We need we need force. We need power. And right now we don't have that. 
So I say all, all we can do right now is preach this word, man, and have faith and believe upon Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to deliver us from our, from our, from our enemies. You know? But you know what? I'm going to end it there, though. This is, uh, hopefully this has been edifying. And I'll catch you all in the next video, man. So the next time I say Shalom.